raised indentations on really heavy, thick card stock. Six simple dots, all but for the visually impaired, for their lifeline to independence. It is known as Braille. You may have heard about it, but what do you really know about it? Photojournalist Mike Kinney today takes us inside the Dallas Lighthouse for the Blind to meet a big fan of World Braille Day. My favorite graduation present from high school was a Perkins Braille Rider. My name is Blake Lindsay, and I'm communications director with the Dallas Lighthouse for the Blind. I was blinded from a retina blastoma, and I've been totally blind all of my memorable life. And what I've discovered is it's not as bad as a lot of people believe it would be. But the first thing that I realized when I was six years old is I was going to be able to read and write just like a person who was sighted. And that's all because of a person who was born 210 years ago today named Louis Braille, one of my biggest heroes. And at age three, a leather poker actually uh, took out one of his eyes and the infection spread to his other eye. Now the amazing thing is he took the poker that blinded him and actually created Braille. You talk about turning lemons into lemonade. When I teach people Braille, I often like to use this egg carton because it's got six eggs in it, exactly like a six dot Braille cell. So as I remove the eggs, I left only one, which represents the letter A. Then if I were to make a B, I'm going to put an egg right below that. So if I'm typing the alphabet, you can really see how easy it is. World Braille Day is very significant to me because it's a celebration of the independence that I have as a person who's completely blind, being able to read and write by using Braille. Photojournalist Mike Kinney spending the day there. And Louis Braille never knew that his system would be used worldwide. The history on that, he died just two years before it was adopted as the standard to teach the blind to read and write. We all got a little bit smarter with that piece oh, right yeah. there. Right. What, a, what a beautiful piece of history to understand. And what a legacy that he left behind two centuries later. And he never knew it, unfortunately, right? right? right.